What's going on guys? Migo here back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Shadal Showdown Structure Deck. This just came out, I believe, a few weeks ago. So I've heard a lot of hype about this. Um, Windy, I believe is her name, is getting all the, the memes and the hypes now. Um, yeah, and like I've seen, I, I haven't looked at the deck list proper, but I I did see some cards that I was surprised, like, oh, that's getting reprinted in this, that's cool. Like, I know Super Poly's in here, you know, and um, Black Luster Envoy at the beginning, it's, I just like that card so much. <laughs> so, like, I would like to get a set, maybe. I only have one in common, but yeah, um, I just want to see how this plays out, and hey, having copies of certain cards in in this deck would be all right. So, Shadal Structure Deck, Shadal Showdown, revives one of the all-time greatest strategies in the history of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Shadals can summon Shadal fusion monsters of any attribute and stack up powerful graveyard effects at the same time. Shadal Showdown offers new monsters that break the rules of what a Shadal monster can be. A full selection of the cards you need to build a Shadal deck and more. Right, so yeah, like if you want the written deck list, it's right there. If you could see, hey, right, you can probably just like look this up online too. Yeah, uh, it still has the 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 new link stuff with the the hexagonal effect. But yeah, uh, first edition in English TCG. So as usual. Ripping the top tab is the easiest way to get access to the rest of the contents. So let's open it from the top. Ooh. Quick start guide, left behind, as usual. Goes over the base rules. That's alright if you don't know how to play the game, though at this point you probably at least know how to play some of the game, right? There's the deck itself. Let's look at the, the paper flame that comes with. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Keep it simple, keep it safe. Keep this. Deck list on the back as well as the guide on how the deck is supposed to work. Deck list over here. Alright, so deploy an army of El Shadal fusion monsters. The main strategy of this deck is to fusion summon powerful El Shadal monsters. Shadal Fusion and El Shadal Fusion can send fusion materials from the hand or field to the graveyard to fusion summon powerful monsters while at the same time letting you, s let letting you use effects that activate when Shadal monsters are sent to the graveyard by an effect. If your opponent has a monster on their field that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can even send monsters from your deck to the graveyard as fusion material. Oh, nice. With Shadal Fusion and Shadal Construct is a link monster that lets you fusion summon but can also be summoned back from the graveyard by sending a Shadal summon a Shadal card from hand to field to the graveyard. Expanding your fusion summoning capabilities. Seize control of the duel with the fusion that is best su suited for your battle situation. That best su Dang, reading is hard. Non-dark monsters. This deck has monsters of six attributes, not just dark. Okay, so I guess Shadals were exclusively dark before. I am not super familiar. Shadal monsters are mainly dark spellcaster flips, with, but this deck also has light, wind, and water attribute Shadal monsters. Okay. Uh, Link 2. Let's you perform a fusion summon, can special summon itself back from the yard. Can use fusion materials from the deck. I don't know how if these are new or reprints, but you have like three forms of fusion. Then you fusion monster, uh, you fusion summon everything, then hopefully take the win that way, so that seems exciting. Alright. Like I said, I've heard a lot of hype about this, so... I was surprised that to find the my local game store having all... Uh, well, not all, many copies of the, the deck with no trouble at all. El Shadal Grista is up front. We get the, the nice pull tab right there. Of course it doesn't go all the way through. Oh, I went there that time. Prove me wrong, deck, why don't you? Darn. Put this away. Add for Duel Links, of course, with the DSOD movie version. Since that was like one of the newer events at the time. Oh, some damage on the back there. 
All right, so to the shinies. What we got? Ooh. That's some... Um, not super fond of this foiling, because it's a bit too shiny for my taste. But hey, that's all right. El Shadal Grista. What she do? 2, 4, 50, 1, 9, 50. Uh, level 7. All right. Yep. Uh, one Shadal Monster and one Fire Type, Fire Attribute. Must be... Must first be fusion summoned when your opponent would special summon a monster mo or monsters. While you have a Shadal card in your hand, quick effect. Negate the summon. If you do, destroy that monster. Then send one Shadal from your hand to the yard. Use this effect once per turn. If it's if this is sent to the graveyard, target one Shadal spell and trap add to your hand. Oh wow, that is pretty cool actually. Full on negate a summon. So if if it's given by the wording, if they special summon at the same time a lot, you can negate one of them by discarding a Shadal in hand. That is cool, alright. Shadal and one fire type, that's not too hard to summon, actually. Apcolone, El Shadal Apcolone. Two Shadal monsters with different attributes must first be fusion summoned. Cannot be destroyed by battle. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. Oh, sorry. I recentered that. If this card is special summoned, you can target one face up on the field and negate its effect. Ooh. So that's uh, when, it, when it hits the board for the first time. If this is sent to the graveyard, add one Shadal from deck or graveyard to your hand, but then discard one card. So one for one. That seems okay. She is the one of the boss monsters featured on the arts. Surprised that Grissa is up front, even though she's not on the art. Uh, El Shadal Construct. One Shadal and one Light. Okay. 2-8, two, 2-5. Two, Let's first be Fusion Summon. Yeah, if this is Special Summon, send one Shadal card from your hand or uh, from your deck to the yard at the start of the damage step. If this card battles a Special Summon monster, destroy that monster. If it's sent to the graveyard, target one Shadal spell and trap to your yard, add it to your hand. So you're getting your fusion summons or your Shadal specific spell and traps back to your hand, making them reusable again. Then possibly getting out more monsters, so three. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, here we go. Alright. Alright, let's look at the extra decks first, alright. El Shadal Wendigo. One Shadal Monster, one win. Must first be Fusion Summon. Quick effect, you can target one monster you control this turn. It cannot be destroyed by battle with an opponent's Special Summon monster. So it's specifically checking for Special Summon monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn if it's sent to the yard. Same, just it seems to be the universal thing. If it dies or gets put to the yard by another effect, you can recycle one of your Spell and Trap Shadal cards. Cool. So I'm guessing, like, the is this the one that? Yeah, this you can just like say with with, with what's the name Grista. You can this. It doesn't say that it has to be a Shadal monster. It, it only checks uh, for a Shadal card. So you can use that this effect to, you know, uh, discard to to negate and then get it back by fusion summoning another El Shadal card. Cool. And here's the new link. I don't know if it's new, but a hey, Shadal Construct. Two flip monsters, whoa. Um, one, two for Link 2. You can fusion summon one Shadal fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. So it's kind of like a free poly without the use for polymerization, okay. Because it's counting it as a fusion summon, right? Yeah, fusion summon one Shadal. Your hand or field is huge materials. If it's sent to the yard, you can send one Shadal. If this is in your graveyard, sorry, you can send one Shadal card from your hand or face up on the field. And if you do, special summon it. Okay. Hard ones per turn, but hey, immediate recycle value. Cool. That's your extra deck stuff. You got your URs over here, ultra rares. You got your common extra decks. And on to the other super rares. What you got? Cad Shadal Chaos. Chaos. I guess. I don't know. Spellcaster flip effect. Flip. Special summon one Shadal from hand or face. In face up or face down. What? Okay. So reveal then put it on the field face down. Interesting. Just to get the flip value on. Nice. 
If this is sent to the graveyard by an effects, you can send one Shadal from your hand, one Shadal monster from your hand to the yard, and if you do, for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control gain attack defense equal to the level of that monster sent to the yard times 100. You can only use once per turn and only once. You can only, huh? One could. Okay, you can only use one Cad Shadal Chaos effect per turn and only once that turn. Also, you have to choose, I guess. Okay. Okay, those, I, I'd say those are actually. I don't know about the second effect, but given. I don't know the power level of Shadals, but hey. Oh, this is Wendy, sorry. Not the, it's not the green haired lady, it's a blonde girl. Re Shadal Wendy. Flip special summon a Shadal monster from deck in face up face down, except for her. Except for a card named Re Shadal Wendy. That's that's normal. Well, people go nuts outside. I guess they're getting half for the Shadals. <laughs> if this is sent from the yard uh, sent to the yard by a card effect, special summon one Shadal monster from your deck in face down defense position. Whoa! Sick. You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. Okay, so you gotta choose. Either send it. Oh, if you discard her, then you can special summon. And if you flip, you can also special summon. You can't do both at the same time. So if you flip and then she dies, <laughs> you don't get that. You don't get the double special summon. That's that's fair. Nail Shadal Ariel. Uh, flip, target one of your banished Shadal monsters, special summon it, and face up or face down. I guess one of the fusions banish as a, an effect instead of just simply sending them to the yard. I guess, I don't know. If this is sent to the graveyard by an effect, target one, target up to three cards in your graveyard, banish them. Huh. Okay. Only use one. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing that's a new type of wording Konami's doing make sure that the the hard once per turn applies to both effects instead of you know each Re rest shadal incarnation target one shadal monster in your graveyard special summon it in face up or face down banish this card okay and one shadal from your graveyard shadal card only then activate one of these effects change one face down monster you control to face up defense okay flip in defense mode change one face down defense I'll flip up, monster, uh, okay, I'm, I'm assuming the second one is, uh, f oh wait, no, I'm, I'm an idiot, it's either you flip them from face down to face up defense, or face up defense to face down, then each, oh, one effect once per turn, okay, okay, interesting, the banish, I don't know, oh wait, there is, this is Winda. Wendy and Winda. Okay, so Winda is the, the the memes I've been seeing where her face is everywhere. I'm guessing because she's busted. One Shadal and one Dark. Must be fusion summoned, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Each player can only special summon monsters once per turn while this... Wow! Okay, if this is sent to the graveyard, target one Shadal spell and trap and add... Okay, so, straight up, Blink Summoning. Cybers and, and the stuff like that, just gone. Just special summon once per turn once she's out, then she'll lock down the board, I guess. Huh, interesting because like her link, the, the link arrows only point to the side, so you can only have one of these out once at one at a time, I guess. How do you protect it though? Oh, I thought it said Shrek. El Shadal Shrek Hinaga. One Shadal and one Earth type must be fusion some first be fusion summon. When a, mon when a special summon monster activates an effect while well, you have a Shadal card in your hand, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that monster, then discard a Shadal card from your hand to the yard. Only use this effect once per turn, and if it's sent to the yard... So they all have that recycling aspect to them, okay. I am not centering the cards well, I apologize. This is a lot of foils, what is going on? Okay, we got one, two, three URs, four... Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six SRs? Seven! Shadal Fusion! Fusion summon one Shadal Fusion from your extra deck using monster from hand or field as material. If your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck specifically, you can also use monsters in your deck as fusion. Okay, so that's a sub. Wow, this is a lot. Okay, cool. That is crazy. You got three URs and eight SRs? That's cool. Up the rarity value. Alright, onto the commons. Shadal Falco. 
I'm not gonna read these out. These are too much. Shadal Hedgehog, yo. It's not Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadal Squamata. Squa. Shadal Dragon. These are dark ones. Interesting. So, oh, the new attributes are the new monsters, I guess. And these must be the old Shadal card. Shadal Beast. Shadal Hound. Oh, we got a Pendulum? Shadal Zephranaga. Interesting. You got Pendulum Summons except Shadal and Zephra Monsters. Oh, is Zephra another archetype? I am unaware. Forgive me for my lack of uh, knowledge of the Shadal archetype. Shadal Zephra Core. I think I pulled this from a pack before. There he is. End by the beginning. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, Love of God. What? I didn't know this came with Dark Arm Dragon. Fairy Tale Sleeper, cool. Perform Arch Trick Clown, okay. Armageddon Knight. Fellas, Light Sworn Archer. Ooh, you're a pretty lady. Electromagnetic Turtle, yo. I remember you. Mathematician. Curry Bandit. Pero Pero Cerberus. Oh, look, he's just like a derpy little Cerberus. Okay. Curse of the Shadow Prison. Is that a Shadal lady? I don't know. Oh, it is. Each time a Shadal monster sent to the yard by a card effect, place one counter on this for each monster. All monsters your opponents control lose 100 attack for each counter on this card during your opponent's turn early. Okay, so it's like not quite a lockdown. It's a field spell though. Each time you fusion summon on a Shadal monster, you can remove three spell counters to so use one appropriate face up. Oh wow, that's some good value. So instead of sending two monsters, you can only send, you can choose to send one. Okay. El Shadal Fusion. There's Windy yelling at someone. <laughs> I don't know. Nephi, Shadal Fusion. Neff? Nephi? Super Poly? Yo! Instant Fu- Wow. I forgot that this came with Instant Fusion. Allure of Darkness. Yes, comes with a few of the Foolish Burial. <laughs> Living Fossil. Pot of Avarice. Yeah, I heard this recently got unbanned. So that's why it's in here. Twin Twist Toss. Shadal Core. Onto the traps. Sinister Shadow Games. Purushadal Aeon. Or is it Purush? No. Purushadal. Okay. Lost Wind. Unending Nightmare. And Necrofusion. And the last card Subterror Succession. Okay. So I don't know what most of these cards do, but I do see a lot of really good cards in this. So at the very least, if you're like building a dark deck. You got your Alert of Fusion right there. And hey, um, so a level 1 to 7 uh, Pendulum Scale doesn't seem too bad, actually. I think the only one you can't bring out would be like Dark Arm Dragon. But the rest, oh well, Black Luster on the beginning. You do have a few lights as targets. You got three light monsters. Uh, four if you count the fusion, I think. Oh, five? No, E-Turtle is is a light. Okay, that's a lot, actually. Oh, whoa. You have a lot of light and dark targets for BLS on at the beginning. So just as a removal spell, I guess. A removal card. This deck seems actually super cool. I should look up like how this performs if you do the whole three structure decks in one. But at the very least, you get your reprints of Super Poly in common, which should drop the price. You got Instant Fusion, Allure of Darkness. Foolish Burial, cool. I don't have a copy of Foolish Burial yet. That is nice. Okay, so that has been the Shadal Showdown Structure Deck unboxing. Very cool. I will see how this deck performs. I don't know. If I don't like it, then at the very least, I got some good cards out of it. Very nice. Like, the, the up in rarity is nice. The, the Including more foils. Because, you know, we like the foil cards. We like the, the shiny cards. The cardboard very cool, very cool. Right, so yeah, guys, that's been Migoy from Good Trades Brigade. Do the YouTube stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. You know, the, the things that you do when you watch a YouTube video. I don't know why I'm doing a voice or a, a really bad accent. But yeah, um, hit us up on the Soakman's Facebook.com slash Good Trades Brigade. We also have a Patreon at patreon.com slash goodtradesbrigade. We're on Twitter at GT Brigade because somebody beat us to the Good Trades Brigade name. 
uh, who was the face guard? It was Grista, but let's put Apcolone up front because it's cool. Yeah, uh, if you like what we do, sub please. We appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine. We we also appreciate you checking out this video to its fullest. I don't know. I don't know got much to say. If you like Magic the Gathering, we do that too. Our main form of content is the the weekly, bi-weekly podcast that we do. We try to get an episode out as much as possible. We talk about things that we like, video games, movies, nerd stuff, card games, stories of our life travels. It's just good fun. Um, the videos here are primarily stuff that we like to do, so since I'm the most like nuts when it comes to collecting things, I have a lot of trading card products. I have a lot of um, action figures that I like. I would like to open. That's why we open, we unbox, we make videos out of pretty much a lot of things. We got Beyblades, we got uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, we got Magic cards. <clears throat> I do have a lot more. Um, it's just that I don't know. It, it's kind of a mishmash of everything. So I apologize if it's if you're looking for something specific and we don't actually hit all of that. But hey, it's all in good fun. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Keep it going. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.